Hey, what's going on guys? Apple Advance here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download a Game Boy Advance, a Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and a Sega Master System, Sega, SNES, and NES emulator back again on your iOS 9.3.3, 9.3.4, and this will also work on the iOS 10 betas. Now, if you guys want to enjoy the video, don't forget to drop that thumbs up down below. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so right now, and let's begin with today's tutorial. Now, I need to tell you guys something. The new GBA for iOS that has been signed and that was working and you were able to download it has just been revoked by Apple meaning Apple has made it impossible to get the app if you do it the regular way meaning without a glitch or anything like that so I thought it was appropriate to make a new video on how to get a Game Boy emulator but this time it's not GBA for iOS it's in fact Providence and Providence is way better in GBA for iOS in many ways except one thing GBA for iOS has one thing over Providence it has cheat codes and if you are a player that likes to use cheat codes go ahead and click off this video because this is not the video for you Providence does not allow you to put in cheat codes um, I don't know if they will ever but um as of right now, Providence does not have cheat codes. So if you are a player who plays legit, then this is definitely the emulator for you. And um, if you used GBA for iOS before and you never used really cheat codes, well, then you shouldn't really have a problem with this app either. And you also probably already saw this method if you are a person who got this notification from my channel. Already saw this method on my channel. But the reason is this is a new site that I just figured out how to find. And so with this new site, it has a Providence application on there. And the best thing about it is the more videos I do on more methods like Game Boy Advance methods, GBA for iOS methods, Nintendo DS methods, the harder it is for Apple to shut them all down as it actually takes a little bit of time or they can sometime actually catch it right before it actually ends up getting signed. So... The more methods I do on my channel, the better it is and a better chance for you guys. So let's say this video does not work for you. Check out my channel because I do a lot of videos like these on my channel. And so if like this video doesn't work for you, go ahead and check out my channel because I do tons and tons of videos just like this one on my channel. So therefore, you know, if the more videos I do, the more methods I do, then the harder it is for Apple to shut it down because Apple hates emulators. Now, I know I've been talking a bit. Let's go ahead and just start with the video. Now, you head on to the link in the description below and it'll take you to the site right here icindia.cf and once you're here you want to find this like controller looking logo and don't click on the text click on the actual picture um, for the actual app now you want to wait a moment and you should get a prompt that says public.boxcloud.com would like to install Providence go ahead and click install now if you let it install all the way, it will actually end up failing to download. So the actual glitch is, also you want to make sure your internet's not too fast. If your internet's too fast, this glitch will be a little bit hard for you. As you can see, it's going at a pretty decent rate, and um, you want it to go at the rate it's going right now. But as you can see, once it gets to the moment where it downloads like super fast, is right there. You want to turn on airplane mode, and you just want to let it sit there. And it should just turn into Providence. So if you want, if you want to um, see that again, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off play airplane mode and repeat it for you guys one more time, and then show you the steps afterward. Because I just want you guys to get this sure, okay? And remember, if you fail to actually download it the first time, um, make sure to actually delete the application and start the process all over again. So as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the picture. It's gonna look the prompt saying, "Would you like to install it?" Go and click install. Okay, you want to make sure you delete the application. That's one crucial detail. Remember, if your internet's slow, it will be preferred to have slower internet compared to higher internet this time. Just because it'll make it easier for you to actually catch it right before it's going like super fast. So as you can see, it will download like pretty pretty normally. You know, it'll just go. It'll like um, load up a bit, stop, load up a bit, stop. But as soon as it starts going fast out of nowhere, meaning it's just about to finish its download by going super fast, um, once it you know gets about two thirds of the way to um, actually completing its download, it will just speed up out of nowhere. And once it actually speeds up out of nowhere, you want to pull up your control center and turn on airplane mode. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right now. So as you see, it's about to go and go ahead and turn this up. Airplane mode. Go over here and boom it installed so that's really it you want to make sure you turn off airplane mode though that's one thing so once you see this like logo on your screen please turn on uh 
turn off airplay mode because people actually will just leave airplay mode on and they will not be able to do the next step. So once you click on the application, it'll say untrusted enterprise developer. You want to click cancel and to get rid of this actual message so you can actually access the application, you want to go to settings, general, scroll down all the way to you find profiles, device management. For some devices, it'll just say device management. Scroll down to you find enterprise app, click on it, then click trust. Once you click trust, it's going to come up with a prompt saying, would you like to trust or not? Go and click trust. And there you go. You have access to Providence once again on our iOS 10, um, iOS 9. Um, it's really easy. Um, also, if you want to know how to download the ROMs, it's really easy. You just want to search up on YouTube how to download ROMs on Providence. Um, that's really all you have to do. There's a lot of videos out there. I mean, I really haven't done a video yet. Um, I've been thinking about doing a video, but um, I really don't know if I should or not, as there's so many videos out there. And, you know, just um, me doing a video on it, there would be really no point. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop that thumbs up down below. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so right now. And that's really it. Thank you, guys.